Okay, the next parent graph that we're going to uh, talk about is the cube root function. Uh, the cube root function looks like it's the cubic function function turned sideways. So let's look at a table of values and you have to deal with cubes. So the cube root, I'm going to start down here, the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of 1, so look at the cube root of 1, if 1 is our x value, we're right there. The cube root of 0 is 0, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, and then the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, cube root of negative 27 is ne negative 3. Uh, graphing it is, is a little bit tricky because notice there are big gaps between perfect cubes. The next perfect cube is negative 64, positive 64, then 125, then 216, then 343, I think, then 512, etc. Uh, 729, I think, is the next one, and then 1024. Oops, excuse me, 1000. Okay, so notice as you look left and right, the graph continues. Oh, this is the notation y is equal to cube root of x, f of x is equal to cube root of x, the x's go infinitely left and right, and even though it's very gradually, the graph is going up left and right. And the other thing to note, just like the, cu the cubic, all odd roots produce the same domain and range. So if this would have been the fifth root, this still would have been the domain and range, seventh root, domain and range. All right, that's it for cube.